Hi, it's Dave again with DRH Acrylic Creations and my addition to the Thursday train with Just Janice and art by Julie E. And part two of my uh, experiment into pleated spiral swipes. I think you can see here there was a big improvement over the last time and I hope that you're going to find this useful. So let's get down to it. Let's talk about colors for just a moment here. Uh, starting from this side, we have golden, teal, this little piggy submarine, golden, Carnacono magenta, this little piggy whitehaven. Our cell activators for today is lamp black by Amsterdam and titanium white by Amsterdam, mixed with three parts of Australian full color. Well, if you were here last time, you saw part one of doing a, of doing a pleated, uh, well, in this case, it was a pleated spiral swipe. Um, it went okay. No, I wasn't 100% happy. So this is the same canvas. I just scraped it. And you're going to see me try it once again. I'm going to change some things up, however. I have my, you saw it last time, I have my, uh, Basically, it's a cutting board that I'm going to try this with a variation. The variation is simple. Uh, when you do a transfer swipe, it goes onto a, a board and then over back onto the uh, onto the um, the canvas. Well, I'm going to do it directly on this board rather than transferring it twice and see if I can lay it down so that it comes across in a manner in which I want to see it. So, wish me luck on this. I, this is a variation, and I don't know that it's gonna work. Well, let's see. Here we go. Not sure that's enough paint. I'm looking at the canvas below, and I don't think it will be. I really should have done more down that end, but that's okay. This is all about fun and dames, isn't it? I started with the teal last time. Followed by Whitehaven. Uh, followed by Cronacronum Magenta. Finally, Submarine. Let me see if I can move it more down towards the into things.
Okay. Make sure that's how I can spin it afterwards and not have it go all over the place. Um, now, I think, yeah, we'll just do this like this for now and I'll have to add some there in the, on the canvas, I think. So, I'm going to bring the stuff down here closer to the, where it's going to end up being anyhow. Now, I got my, I got my pointed, I don't know how to pop, pie shaped, I don't know, the teardrop, uh, smart, I usually use this for my spiral. So we're going to load it the exact same way. Because this is pointed, it's going to let me get a lot more control as far as the the actual spiral, and I'll be able to get a, a better defined spiral. At least that's my plan. Okay, because this is oblong, it's going to be a little funky. So I'm going to start from this side over here. Here we go. Let that develop and I'll pull it off the side a little bit and just in case. Just in case I need it. Get from this side over, and let's see how this goes. Some beautiful stuff left on the on the uh, can on the the board. So hate losing that, but let's see what we have here. Don't mind the train. They've been busy today.
hat, try to help myself out just a little bit here. No, I don't have enough canvas paint on the pink canvas, pillow paint on the canvas. Okay, um, let's give it a soft spin to begin with. I've got some negative space here and some negative space over here and on this side. So the four corners from this one's not so much. But these three corners definitely have some negative space. I know how I feel about that. Uh, I am in love with those cells, those stretched out cells. Those are pretty worthy. I think I need to spin just a little bit more. And that's about right. Okay, I'm going to clean up a little bit and I'm going to bring you down for a flyover. We'll talk about this. I want you to notice I did get some beautiful stretch cells on here and also some, well, some shadow cells with almost a peacock feel. I think this is probably uh, a technique that I want to continue to work on. So stick around for more. If you'd like to help, leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications of future videos. It really does help, and it's absolutely free. I want to thank you very much for being here today, and I want to stick around for Just Janice next, uh, followed by Art by Julie E. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.